Hello, I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're going to review and play Virefit. Virefit is a mini game collection meant to give you a workout in VR. It consists of three games boxing, tennis, and basketball mini games. This game came out on the Steam Store today. It's available for $34.99 for both the HTC Vive and Windows Mixed Reality. However, I can confirm the game works perfectly fine on the Oculus Rift. I haven't found any issues using the Rift. Uh, it's on sale now for $29.74. And I actually got a free Steam key from the Steam Creator Connect program to review this game. Uh, I'll be honest. Uh, I, I don't. I didn't really enjoy this game at all. I, I think there's better mini game collections out there, especially at this price point. It it, it just doesn't match the the quantity or the quality of the content. Uh, as far as boxing mini games go, there's much better <laughs> boxing games out there, including uh, Thrill of, Thrill of the Fight, which would cost you less than actually buying this, and it's so much better than the boxing mini game in this game. In fact, uh, if if you bought VR Super Sports, you know that's a collection of mini games as well. And the boxing mini game in that game is more fun than the boxing one. This one. Let's go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and play. So basically, you dodge and you punch. That, that's that's it. So you see your boxing gloves, but there's no avatar body, and you see the quality of the graphics. That looks. Uh, like a dummy you might find in the Unity store. You can actually move forward or move back within your play space, but you can't teleport. And you see, the, it doesn't seem like the, the blocking really works all that well. So I don't know if there's any point to. But it doesn't seem like it, there's much strategy here other than, you know, dodge back. And this guy just. So there's not much boxing strategy here, uh, as far as boxing game goes. This would not be the worst one I played. I just played one last night that was worse than this one. It's called Boxing Apocalypse. So you see that I just hit through him. But there was no strategy to it. So let's go to menu. Let's try the other mini games. Uh, let's go ahead and try tennis now. And again, it's not very good quality. I've played better tennis. Uh, there's one I believe that's called first person tennis. That's a lot better. Uh, racket and X is also very funny even though that's not technically tennis. But it's a racket game and they're both a lot more fun than this. So I would recommend those over this. Uh, you have like lasers coming out for the menu. As you see, you just hit the targets towards the bullseye over there and they throw bombs out to dodge them. Uh, I'm right-handed, so I don't really do well with the... Oh. Whoa. Yeah. And as you see, I'm not doing well, but this... there we go. There we go. I'm finally at minus two now. <laughs> Whoa. Ah. So, I mean, the one good thing about this game is that you do get a workout. Uh, this tennis game is better than the boxing game, but it's still not quality. 
this is like a 99 cents quality game. Maybe a dollar ninety nine at the most. And again, I'm 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 not gonna use my left because and the physics is about right here as far as hitting the tennis ball, but it's just so clunky. My backhand is terrible. You see, when they come right towards you, you kind of have to move to the side to hit it. And it's really not tennis, to be honest. Uh, you're using a tennis racket, that's the only tennis part of and you're on a tennis court. But the gameplay is not tennis. It would make more sense if you're trying to, you know, serve it back to somebody. Hit it on the court versus seeing the bullseye, which is not intuitive. Uh, there's just better racket games. Uh, like I said, Racket and X. Is a lot better. That's what I would recommend, or even first-person tennis if you want a real tennis game. And so this one's not as bad as the boxing one. Like the boxing one was the second worst. Second worst boxing game I've ever played. Boxing Apocalypse was the only one that I played that's a lot worse than that one. Okay, so I didn't do too well. Sorry about that. Uh, this one is a little hard. Let's go ahead and do the last mini game. And that's basketball. <laughs> as far as basketball mini games go, this is pretty bad. The physics is just totally wrong. It's not really basketball. You're you're, you're like throwing a basketball like like a dart. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. Uh, so you're supposed to shoot the the balls through the hoops. And as you see, the graphics are not very good. Uh, this title costs $34.99. And those don't look like real basketball uh, nets, baskets. Uh, they're very poor models. They're not realistic. And the scales just seem to be off. So let's go ahead and start the mini game. Um, there's better basketball mini games. Uh, honestly, this is probably the worst one I've ever played. So. Any, any other ones? Uh, I think there's one called VR Sports Challenge. But even VR Super Sports has a basketball mini game. That's more fun than this. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm not even... <laughs> I forgot what the goal of this was. So you catch it. You throw it to the colored one that matches. And part of the issue here is that you do crash into your same hoop. And it does feel like you're just shooting like a dart versus uh, throwing a basketball. It kind of feels like you have to evade your own balls that you just threw. You see, I keep, I keep hitting. It's just a bad design there with, I don't know what you're, you're supposed to like throw it all in one motion or something. So it does feel like there's no physics to this, or the physics is just so terrible that it doesn't feel like it kind of feels like you're throwing a bar, uh, dart in zero G is what it feels like. It just it just feels totally wrong, and the only good thing is I will say is that you get very tired from playing this game. So as far as workouts, yeah, you'll get a workout, but I just think there's better games in VR for that and the price is just all wrong I, I, three mini games $34.99 that seems way off on anything that's reasonable uh, if they were higher quality maybe but 
this is very low quality stuff. Uh, VR Sports Challenge has a much better set of mini game collections. Higher production values. It's pretty old too. It's like what two years old already, or maybe older than that. So I don't recommend this game. See, I'm trying to throw it like a basketball, but the, you can just throw it like a dart as well. And you, my arm's very tired. <laughs> I'm starting to sweat, so I'm glad this is gonna be over soon for the review. Uh, yeah, this, this is not fun. Uh, okay, so this is Virefit. Uh, like I said, I got a free Steam key, but I don't recommend this game. It's way overpriced. None of the three mini games are any are that good. Probably the tennis one is the best one. The basketball one's just broken. This is the worst basketball mini game I've ever played in VR. I've seen better ones on the Oculus Go store, Samsung Gear VR basketball mini game. I've seen better ones there. The boxing one is also one of the worst. The only worst boxing game I've ever played was Boxing Apocalypse, and this one is a little bit better, but not a whole lot better. And then there's the tennis. The tennis one is okay. It works. It's a little difficult. Uh, I don't think I've ever played one quite like this because uh, you're having to avoid the bombs and you have two tennis rackets to hit a bullseye target. But it's not very well made. Uh, if it were free to play, I might recommend the tennis mini game on its own. But as a package, I cannot recommend this. I uh, cannot recommend it at the normal price. Cannot recommend it at the sale price. If it were 99 cents, I'm not sure I would recommend it even at that price. This is not very good. I'm gonna give this a 3.5 out of 10. This is a very poor effort overall. I'm surprised this came out on Steam today. I, I thought it would be early access. It looks like an alpha build. Uh, this would need a lot of work for it to be recommendable on all three mini games to make them worth anywhere near what they're charging for. I'm Fast Lawyer, I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Thank you for watching, have a wonderful day. Goodbye.